Hi everyone, it's Megan McKipton here. So today I'm going to be doing my Friday favorites and fudgeroos. I am filming this like at 8 o'clock at night. This will be posted later at night. I am sorry about that. But um, I didn't. I stayed home from school today because I don't feel good. But I still wanted to do this video for you guys. And sorry if you see like my bed looks a mess and my laptop's out. It's because like I've been online shopping all day. Like I haven't bought anything but I'm going to buy stuff from Forever 21. And yeah, so let's just get started. The first thing I have to talk about, I want to have no fudgeroos, so yeah. The first thing I have to talk about is my Tokidoki palette, and this is an Alayan pop, Poppy or something. It's like right there. They're a limited edition, so if you guys want this one, I would definitely go and pick it up because I took the last one in my store, and I know once this was the last one, they're not carrying them anymore because it it's not a limited edition. Tokidoki is going out of business. And there's a mirror right here, but I'm just going to flip it upside down. And sorry that I'm filming with my iPod. I don't have time to film this because I do need to get this up and, you know, out of here. So, I'm not, I'm just filming with my iPod. And this is a light brown, a dark brown, a yellow, goldy color, and a white. Looks like this. There we go. That's the two colors, like, right there. These are very good. I can do a eye look with these if you guys want, but like, I won't do a lot of eye looks with these since it is a limited edition. But yes, this palette has been my favorite all week. The next thing I have to talk about is my Maybelline XXL Pro um, mascara. It's in curl. Looks like this is the purple. I'm sorry that my nails have been like not washed away all the stuff on the sides but yeah looks like this I got this from Rite Aid for three dollars and usually they're like five to seven dollars and at Walmart so I'm like oh I'm picking this up since I needed even I needed a new mascara anyways white is like that and black is just the curly side too so I have been loving this mascara it I like the look of like spidery kind of not clumpy but like spidery eyelashes with a lot kind of like look like a lot of mascara because I don't have like hardly any eyelashes I have like little baby eyelashes so I always need to make them look bigger so that's a very good mascara for that um the next thing I have to talk about is my elf toning correcting concealer and this is an apricot beige and this is one dollar I've had this concealer for like the longest time of life and I have noticed once this sets over a while, maybe like a couple months, um, it works a lot better, which is like weird. So if it like you buy it and at first you don't like it, like I bought two, one for my bag, for my makeup bag at school, and then one for like at home. And oh my god, my hair looks crappy. I'm sorry, I'm sick, like I said. Um, so like I was saying, I bought one for my makeup bag and one for at home, and. Like, after this has been sitting for a while, like, because I'd never used it over the summer, but once this was sitting, and then starting to use it again, it's really dang amazing. I feel like it has so much more coverage, so it's, like, kind of weird that once this sits a little bit longer, it, like, I feel like it has more coverage. So, it just looks like this, and I will do a swatch. And that is it, and... Like, I feel like before, it didn't have as much coverage as it does now. And I like putting this under my eyes since when I do have bags in the morning. I'm sorry, I said my iPod was dead. But, um, because I like a little bit lighter, like, um, a highlight kind of under my eyes. Since I do wear glasses and I need, like, as much stuff as possible to, like, see my eyes. So this is, like, a definitely good concealer. I actually, like, use this every day now once... I stopped using this for like three months and then I started using it again because I'm trying to like reuse all my products that I haven't used in a little bit and I'm, I'm just in love with it. The last thing I have to talk about while I'm actually done, well almost, and it's only been like four minutes, is my Sinful Colors nail polish and this is in Good Girl. I actually have a review on that. I will try to put the link somewhere up or right here and it looks like this it's a bright red and in that video you guys could see the true color of this i know since it's like dark in my room you guys can't see the true color of this it's like a bloody red it's really pretty um i have what is it um nevea some nevea i think from 
Sinful Colors on my nails. It's like a taupey color. I really do love it. So, um, I'll put the link of, like, the review of Sinful Colors, like, somewhere up in here. So, yeah, this has been my favorite nail polish of the week. So, that's all I have to talk about for my Friday favorites in Fudge Roos. If you guys want to subscribe or whatever, leave a comment, that'd be great. And, yeah, after this video, I'm actually going to film with my um, camera and I'm going to film an advice because advice for, like, your first boyfriend. Um, because I've been asked, like, a month ago to do that, then I forgot, so I'm going to go and do that. So, please comment, rate, subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Bye.